In this video, we will look at how the register client is laid out and what elements are in each section. We are going to start on the main register screen as this is where we will spend most of our time when using the tills. Your tool might look slightly different to these examples as the language, currency and taxes can all be configured for your location. As you can see with this graphic, we have divided the register screen into six sections. These are the top bar and display window, the journal, the product browser, the function group, the tender group, and finally the menu. All actions on the register screen use our guided workflow. When you tap an item, instructions will be displayed and all irrelevant areas will be disabled, helping to reduce errors. The top bar is displayed at all times within register. From here, you can access the menu, log off the current member of staff, as well as suspend or retrieve transactions and switch clerks. When on the staff screen, you can also access the settings, training mode, and manually synchronize the data with the web portal. These are covered in another video. The display window will display details of the most recently added item, as well as provide user instructions when carrying out specific functions. In this case, it is prompting you to select an item from the journal to void. The journal is where we see what has occurred during a transaction. You can see every item and discount added to the transaction, as well as a running total and tax amount located at the bottom. Any changes made to products such as void and quantity adjustments are clearly displayed. Register Plus users can also associate a customer to the transaction from the journal, as well as add notes to products that would be sent to the kitchen printer. The product browser is the section where we can select our chosen quick access products. Customers typically have their most popular products here, as well as non-barcoded items and items found at the till. You can increase the size of the product browser which temporarily hides the function buttons and keypad. This can be quickly minimized by tapping the arrow in the bottom right corner. The product browser also includes a tab called Departments. Tapping here will allow you to navigate through all your departments or product categories to find the appropriate product. Register Plus users also have the ability to enable the Plus browser which displays only configured departments in the browser. This is typically used by customers in the hospitality sector as it displays products much like a menu. You can also add products by using any of our supported barcode scanners or by using the product lookup function. Both of these are covered in other videos. Moving on to the buttons, we have what we call the function group. This collection of buttons includes all the common till functions that can be applied to a transaction and includes all the following features. Void item, used for removing products from a transaction that have been added accidentally or for items that customer no longer wants to purchase. Cancel sale, used for cancelling the entire transaction. No sale, used to open the cash drawer without recording a sale, typically used when needing to make change. Print feed, for providing some blank receipt paper for taking a note on. RF is the refund button, used to refund individual items or whole transactions. Disc is the discount button, where we can set either individual item discounts, transaction discounts, as well as pre-configured discounts such as staff discounts. Price override, used to manually change an item price in the current transaction. Debt is the manual department entry button, used when you want to record a sale against a particular department rather than an item. Prod is the prod lookup button, used to quickly search for a product, see its price and stock availability, and add it to a transaction. This can also be used when a barcode fails to scan. Finally, we have the quantity button. This is used to adjust the quantity of an item in the transaction, or set a quantity before adding an item. Next we have the tender group and keypad. The keypad is used for keying in number values when entering quantities, and amount tendered amongst other things. There are a number of different tender buttons. The other tender will give you access to additional payment methods that have been configured, such as check. There are three configurable quick tender buttons which act as shortcuts for adding specific cash amounts. And finally, the cash and card buttons for processing other cash amounts and card payments. Finally, we have the menu. This can be accessed at any time and is used to gain access to other areas of register. From the menu, you can access the following features. End of day, where we carry out the cashing up process. Reports, where you can view the daily sales and product sales reports for that till. Paid in and paid out, for recording when you have taken money out of or added money to the till and is not related to a transaction, 
for example, paying the window cleaner. Transaction history is where you can view previous transactions from the till and reprint a customer receipt. Stock is where we can search and view any product, see its details and view stock levels in all stores. You can also update the stock quantity here too. The web portal button provides a shortcut to the web portal. The custom URL can be configured as a shortcut to any website. In this example, we have called it about register, but this could easily be your own website. The customers and calendar buttons are only available to register plus users that want to make use of the customer relationship manager or CRM. These allow you to view and manage your customers as well as book customer appointments. Finally, we have the guide button, which will open an online version of the user manual. How to use all these features can be found in our other videos. Further information can also be found in your user manual. And if you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer you further assistance.